AI influencers are going completely viral, like everyone seems to be talking about them, but no one actually understands how much time and effort goes into making one. Take this influence for example, she has been run by the German government of tourism and they are trying so hard to make her look realistic in all of these scenes. And apparently it is working. Or what about this influencer? He is completely made with AI but he looks real and he's making content about fitness. That is actually one of my own AI influencers and in this video I will teach you how to make them. Now I've been working on this AI automation stuff for quite a bit of time now. It's not perfect yet, but we're close to it. By clicking execute workflow, all of my AI influencer videos will be uploaded to my Instagram automatically. And honestly, these AI avatars are some of the most realistic ones that are out there yet. Have a look at these two influencers. They sound and look completely real. If you're serious about fitness, sleep is just as important as training. Aim for seven to nine hours a night. Your body builds muscle and burns fat while you rest. As much as I love New York, there are definitely a few things I don't love about it. The first is the noise. It never really stops. There are actually three steps and three tools that you need in order to make your own AI influencer automation. The first step is making the influencer. For this, we will be using a tool called Arcats. I will leave the link to that in the description down below. Once you're at Arcats, you wanna create your account. And then after you logged in, then you will be brought to the AI influencer page. Here, you wanna create a new folder. So you wanna click on the plus. And now you wanna give your folder a name. So I'm gonna name this Travel Influencer 2. And then you wanna start a new project. Now it's time to make your actor. And you can choose all of their actors that they've already built for you. These are all based on real people. Or you can make your own actor. And I would suggest doing this as this gives you complete control over the outcome of your influencer. So click on create. You have the option to either upload your own image or to generate one from a prompt. And now you want to give it the prompt. For the prompt, you can actually keep it super simple. I'm doing 26 years old, female that is sitting in a cafe wearing a green shirt. Now you click on generate. Now it gave us three different versions. So we have this one, this one, and this one. All of them look super realistic. And that is the power of our cats. Like they have something in the back end there and they make them look super real. So let's actually go for this one. Now, if you don't like it, you can just add in your prompt and say like change this or change your outfit. Or if you want to have a completely different background, you can do so. Now you select your actor, then you say what should the actor do and we want to basically make her talk with excitement then we turn this into a talking actor and now you click on confirm and this will cost you two credits and then you will create your actor i've already done this process with multiple different versions but basically that's how you make your actor now that you got your actor ready you can select it and you can click on add actor and now over here if you click on this cock wheel right there then you can change the voiceovers for example if you want to do a different voice you can choose one right here and you can also change the speed stability, similarity, and also the style exaggeration. Now, you then want to add in your script. I actually want to make a travel influencer that is exploring different parts of the world and that is talking about them. So what I can do is I can just enter in my prompt of what I want her to say, and then I hit send. This will make a video like this. As much as I love New York, there are definitely a few things I don't love about it. The first is the noise. It never really stops, no matter what time of day or night. Now that is already super good. For our travel actor, we actually wanna create different versions and that's exactly what I did. If you wanna make a different version of your actor, then you click on add actor, my actors, and then you select the person that you want to have a different version of. So for example, from her, we wanna say click new version. Then here we can literally give it a new prompt. And then we can, for example, say she is standing in the park. Now we click on generate and now the same girl the same influencer that we already have made will have a different version and we can use that as a different actor that we have multiple different versions of the same person as you can see we now have like three different images to choose from it's the same girl and we can just continue make the actor like this like i shown before i actually did this like five different times like i have her on the beach i have her in the dubai mall i have her in rome at the trevi fountain and i also have her at the tower of pisa now you can do the same for male influencers 
influencers too, I actually made this guy right here and I made an entire fitness page about him. So for example, if I go over to this folder, then I have all these different versions. And this is very important. You wanna batch make all of these different versions. And this was actually super easy to do. All I did is I went to ChatGPT and I asked it to make a few different scripts. Like this was done in less than five minutes. I, I added in all of these different scripts and I put them into Arcads and then it gave me videos like this. If you're serious about fitness, sleep is just as important as training. Aim for seven to nine hours a night. Your body builds muscle and burns fat while you rest, not while you're scrolling at 2 a.m. So now we have our influencers ready. We can now move over to the next step, which is putting them in an automation so we don't have to worry about it. Now, I already made this animation for you. All you literally have to do is you have to go over to NADN, you create your account, then you create a new workflow. Here you click on the three dots and then you click on import from file. Here you upload the file that I gave you and now you will have my entire workflow all pre-built in your NADN dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set up the workflow parameters. Now the way you do this is you need to add in your Arcats ID in here. This is basically the folder ID that we have from Arcats. The way to get this is you go over to the folder that you want to use. So in my case it's this fitness influencer folder. Then on the top of the URL you will see the ID right here. You want to copy that idea and now you bring that over to NADN. You change it to your own idea. Now that you have your folder ID linked you want to go back and now you want to do the same for all these different steps. Now you have set up the folder ID so it knows where to take the videos from. Now you need to link the Arcats API key inside of NADN. To do that, you want to click on this and you want to go over to basic authorization. Then you want to scroll down, create a new credential and here you want to find your user API key inside of Arcats. To find your API key, click on the top left right here, go over to settings and members and then click on public API key. Here you can find the client ID, which is what you need. So you copy that, you bring it over, you add it in there, then you go back to Arcats and you here you copy the client secret. You can just copy this key, then you paste the key inside of the password and then you hit save. You now have set up the Arcats API key inside of this NADN workflow. So we're gonna go to the next thing, which is get the video from Arcats. So make sure over here you select the credential that you just made. So for me, it's already like Dan Travel Influencers. Once that is set up, you can ignore transform video and then you need to link your API key from ChatGPT. This is very important because otherwise it won't create a caption for you. Because if you check out this account, for example, then we can see that it also has made this entire like caption based on our transcript. So she already like adds in the hashtags and we have the caption. All of that is done automatically through ChatGPT. The only thing you need to do is add in your API key. So the way to do that is over here, you wanna click on open AI account, create new credential, and then you wanna go over to this website. This is the open AI API key platform. I will share this website with you and you click on create new secret key and then you create the key and that will basically give you the key and the password. Now you add in your API key and optional your organization ID and then you hit save. Now your ChatGPT has been set up and it can write the caption for you. Basically what you've done, you've set up the entire automation. The only thing we need to do is we need to link it to Blotato because that is step number three and that is posting our videos automatically. So that is possible through a tool called Blotato. Once you're brought into Blotato, you will be brought over to this website right here. You want to go over to settings and here you want to link your Instagram account. In order to do that, you need to go to login with Instagram and then you will be logged into your Instagram. You hit accept on everything and basically your Instagram account is now connected. After you've added in your Instagram account, you want to copy your account ID. So basically you see your account right here and you want to click on copy account ID. Now we want to go over to the workflow and we want to go back to the workflow parameters and here we want to add in or ID. I already have mine added in there, but basically you just want to replace this one with your own one. After that, you need to enter in your API key of Blotato in this upload on Blotato node right here. 
So double click it. Then you want to add in your Blotato API key. So you want to click on create a new credential. Here you give it a name, which is Blotato API key. Then you go into Blotato and over here at the settings, if you click on API, you can find your key right here. So you click on copy API key and now you can copy that into your value right here. And then you hit save. Now you have your Blotato account set up inside of this NADN workflow. You want to make sure you have the exact same account selected that you have right here as the one where you have posts on Instagram. So this Blotato account then that's the one I'm using for this. If you're using a different Instagram account, whatever, obviously you are, then you want to enter in your new credential that you've just made. And after that, you're basically ready to start executing your workflow because everything is connected. And what this will do is it will start fetching the videos from our folder. Then it will get the videos in the file. It will transform the video. It will add in a caption that can be used inside your Instagram post. And then it will start uploading it on Blotato and Blotato schedules it out on Instagram. Basically, if you go over to the API dashboard, then you can see what is happening. So for example, right now, these are already completed. A few of them are queued, and that means that they have been scheduled like once a day. Now, depending on how many videos you've made in this folder, for example, right here, I got about nine of them. These are all scheduled for the next nine days. If you batch this out for at least a month, then you will have fully automated your account for at least a month. It's all scheduled for you. And maybe one once a month, you just have to create this type of content. The cool thing is this will keep looping. So every time it sees a new video, it will start doing this thing over and over again. So you see it's now at number five and now it's doing this again and again. It's very important that for all of these tools, you need to have the premium account because without one, you cannot get the API keys and you cannot get this automation to work. Now I'll leave the link for all of the tools that I mentioned in the description down below. And now you basically understand how to automate your own API. AI influencer. Now this is just the service level of this automation. There's so much more possible and in the next months I will cover some more topics on this automation. If you want to check out more AI influencer videos then click the one that's on the screen right now and I will explain to you how you can start making money with your AI influencer.